as you know, Interpol is or was one of the initiating partners along with the United Nations, the European Anti-Fraud Office, OLAF, and the Republic of Austria in setting up and establishing the organization that I have the honor to chair, which is the International Anti-Corruption Academy. We are a fully-fledged intergovernmental organization with a membership of 64 countries globally as of now. Uh, by way of this constituency bringing together uh, more than 5 billion people globally. We engage in activities, all kinds of activities, uh, as far as capacity building is concerned, technical assistance, education, training in anti-corruption and compliance. And the purpose of the visit was, of course, not only to meet the Secretary General, but also to discuss with some of your technical experts on how we could join uh, in fighting corruption, uh, how we could uh, engage jointly uh, in providing uh, additional momentum and additional uh, trainings and capacity building activities in this regard. When we started the anti-corruption discourse about 20 years back, it basically was all about uh, criminal law and enforcing. In the meantime, it has become common knowledge that uh, besides law enforcement, it is also important to join efforts in uh, prevention, to join efforts also in training, education, awareness raising, and last but not least, uh, to join efforts in international cooperation. So this is basically, or these are the four pillars uh, as far as anti-corruption and compliance is concerned. So Interpol is a pretty prominent partner in this undertaking, as uh, are there many others. And uh, I think we are on the same page that uh, international cooperation has become one of the most important uh, pages and one of the most important avenues in this regard.